Okay, what's going on, you guys? I'm sorry if the lighting is bad, but, uh, yeah, this was a bad loss. This one sucks. Uh, losing to Stanford. I hate losing to Stanford. People already know that. Uh, I was pretty right about the keys to the game, unfortunately, and, well, <laughs> that's how it is. I mean, it's just unfortunate. This is one of those games that we made mistakes, or, sorry, the Bruins made mistakes, and they couldn't come through in the, on the trenches. Uh, that's how Stanford wins games, and that's what you expected. I mean, how do you, where was this Stanford team last week in, in Utah? It just makes you wonder, where was that team? Uh, yeah, Brett Hundley was bad. Uh, I was very worried about Hundley before the game, and no surprises this happened. Uh, Hundley, when he throws the deep ball, this is why I say I'm scared when he throws a deep ball. He just hasn't been good with that. He's been good with the short passes. But that's what makes his numbers efficient. And the coaching staff obviously recognizes that. Uh, yeah, there were just... First half, defensively, we looked great. We just... If only we fell on that fumble early. If only we were able to fall on that, it would have been a 0-0 game. But uh, the defense played well. They got the turnover they needed to. I, I thought we were lucky to be, to be only down by three at halftime. Uh, we should have been down by more, but the defense bended... Gave up some yards, but didn't break. Uh, off at, Brent Hundley missed his targets. So there were two or three open targets he had, and he missed them. And this is why Hundley is not going to the NFL this year, uh, the, after this year. He is way too raw, and it shows. He, he cannot throw the ball accurately like we need him to be. That is what sucks. It's a double-edged sword. If a guy plays really great, he'll go to the NFL. If he doesn't, well, you're stuck with him, and... Hopefully he gets better. You can only hope, because he's got the same problem when he's throwing the ball. He'll try to make the play, he'll hold on to it too much, and he'll try to make the plays. Uh, a lot of this game will fall on Hundley, because his decisions were not good. Second half, it got better, but he was still missing his targets. He was still throwing it away, throwing the check down pass. Uh, yeah, the injuries to the offensive line didn't help. The loss of Eric Kendricks didn't help. But, you know, the defense only gave up... Uh, the defense only gave up 10 points to me, in my opinion. Just that the first 10 points, I don't count those two touchdowns as much because they were demoralized from the turnovers. Uh, yeah, the offensive line injuries don't help. Uh, this I'm not looking forward to the game in Eugene next week. That's going to be an awful game to watch uh, in Eugene because we don't have an offensive line. Well, unless we want to take off some red shirts, which I know Adrian Clem doesn't want to do. We cannot take off the red shirts of these players. Offensive line was bad. This was the the other fault besides Hundley. The offensive line didn't help either. Hundley was trying to run. They, they could not run the ball. I said they had to establish a running game, and they couldn't. Uh, they were just unable to protect Hundley. And there were times we get yardage, and then there's a false start penalty. Or there's a bad snap by Jake Brendel. I mean, Jake Brendel, you got to be able to snap the ball. I don't want to hear these excuses you got to be able to snap a ball, and uh, you practice them in practice for a reason. You just don't screw that up. So, uh, yeah, offensive line is raw. They're messed up. The Jake Brendel is really bad. Hard to watch uh, snapping the ball. Uh, and then the offense, just the receivers, some of them weren't open at times, but there were, there were also times Hundley didn't come through when you, you need stars to come through. Uh, it hurts. This one's going to hurt just because it's a loss to Stanford. Uh, Stanford was the better team, though. Uh, we should have been blown out, honestly. We gave up We gave up yardage. We gave up quite a bit of yardage, and we were dominated on the ground. We were fortunate they didn't get in the end zone more than they did. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, the game in Eugene's going to suck, too. Just focus on winning the Pac-12 at this point. Focus on winning our, our division games in the South. Uh, yeah, we get to re go and try to rebound in Eugene. That's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> Eugene is going to be pretty much impossible to win unless this team improves on offense, which I don't see it doing. But, yeah, defense played well, especially when they lost Eric Kendricks. I thought they played better than than I than some expected. So, you know, Stanford was the better team today. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, discredit any of that because they were. It just hurts. You expect a quarterback, and you expect players to be better, and they weren't. So, Stanford, better team. That's how it is. See you guys later. Go Bruins, and uh, talk about you next week.